If you travelled to another planet, it's not just extraterrestrials you might have to contend with, you might also weigh twice as much as you would on Earth. Now, it might sound a bit strange, but finding out about how our weight would change on different planets of the solar system is linked to understanding how forces act. And I've come to the fairgrounds to find out more. Gravity is a force. It attracts objects with mass towards each other. In space, it might look like there's no gravity, but astronauts are weightless because they're in orbit, so they're constantly falling towards the Earth. The weight of something depends on its mass and the gravitational field strength. Weight is measured in newtons and mass is measured in kilograms. Weight is a force and it's caused by the pull of gravity acting on a mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Unlike weight, it's not a force. An object's mass has the same value anywhere in the universe. On other planets, our mass stays the same, but our weight would change. That's because the gravitational force on different planets is different. Some of my mates have come down to help me show you what I mean. It's not the warmest of days here on Earth, but I'm not one to let a bit of cold get in the way of a good science demo. All right, guys, do you have any idea what it would be like to be on another planet and what it would feel like, what you'd weigh? No. Right, well, this ride will give us some idea of that. Let's give it a go. Yeah. So we are presently currently on planet Earth. Let's do a visit to Jupiter. OK, yeah, ready, ready. Oh, no, it's <laughs> OK. No. <laughs> Still alive. Woo! <laughs> right, so uh, what part of that ride felt the lightest? At the top. Yeah. yeah. It made your stomach go funny. Dizzy. Dizzy yeah. stomach. <laughs> Dizzy stomach. <laughs> and then when did you feel the heaviest? As it kind of came to the bottom come, and yeah. kind of come down. That little bounce. Wicked. You see, that ride is like actually being on other planets. When you was at the top and you was at its lightest, it's like being on a planet with less gravity like Mercury. But when you was at the bottom or that bouncy part, as you said, when you felt a bit heavier, yeah. or that heavy feeling, that's like being on a bigger planet, for example, like Jupiter. But except you wouldn't just be feeling like that when you hit the bottom, you would just always feel like that. Being on a ride like this is actually the closest you can really get to actually being on another planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Because we know that our mass is constant, it must be the gravitational forces that make our weight change. On Earth, the force of gravity on a one kilogram mass is 10 newtons. So if my mass is 70 kilograms, then the force of gravity on me makes my weight 700 newtons. As the chair and I fall, I'm pressing less on the chair and the pair lighter, similar to astronauts in the space station. This would be the same feeling on Mercury. There, the force of gravity on a one kilogram mass is just four newtons. So if my mass is 70 kilograms, then the force of gravity on me makes me weigh about 280 newtons. That's like me weighing as much as your family dog. At the bottom of the ride, when it starts to slow down, the forces were unbalanced and felt much heavier. This would be the same feeling on Jupiter. There, the force of gravity on a one kilogram mass is 25 newtons. So if my mass is 70 kilograms, then the force of gravity on me makes my weight about 1,750 newtons. This is like weighing as much as a gorilla. So the greater the mass of the object, the stronger the force of gravity. That's why you'd weigh more on Jupiter. Gravity also keeps planets and moons in orbit. So we know that the gravitational pull of an object is determined by its mass. This can also help us make sense of the movement of the whole solar system. All the planets and moons in the solar system spin around the central point, a bit like me on this roundabout. The object with the greatest mass sits at the centre and its gravitational pull attracts other objects into an orbit around it. And that's why every planet in our solar system orbits the sun. It's all down to gravity.